Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and uh, today I'm doing a little experiment. So I've been doing lots of swipes and I've got all this cheap paint. Uh, this is Elrado de Polo. Um, they do lovely colours but it's a, it's, it's a very cheap paint. Um, so I'm going to stick with just these paints and I'm going to mix it with the same uh, pouring medium that I used for my other swipes. I've also got the Harbour Blue here and one of my favourites, Metallic Sand, which has a bit of a pink shimmer to it. I've also got the white and I, with the gold, With the gold, uh, the metallic gold, I've actually added a little bit of, oops, a little bit of Montmartre uh, yellow ochre and a little bit of white. Just because this is very transparent and uh, you can never quite see it. Uh, so that's that one. And then I also have a bit of leftover house paint, which was getting a bit thick and I've thinned it down with a bit of pouring medium but um, this has come out of a sample container and I've used it in some of my swipes before before I got better at it before th this new mix um, and it worked quite well so I'm going to put that in as well because I really like the sandy color and I'm doing a beach scene now uh, I also have a small crack in this canvas which uh, as you saw a couple of uh, videos ago, I had another crack which I just taped at the back and it didn't work very well. So this one I've added glue all to the top and the bottom, let it dry and then added more to the top. So because sometimes I use glue all in my pouring mediums, I thought that would be okay. So, and it feels quite smooth now. So let's um, see if that one works. All right, enough waffle. Uh, let's get started. Okay, so I was debating whether to go portrait or landscape. Um, but because I want to swipe lengthways, I mean across, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to go landscape. I've done a few portraits, so let's go landscape. All right. Uh, Okay, I haven't thought this through. <laughs> Let's go. I'm just going to pour paint down. All right, I'm going to start with a small amount of white. This is going to be the difference between my my beach and my. So I have the water there and the beach here. And I've got my gold. my metallic sand let's get a bit of this other sandy color down I'm gonna have to get these to meet up because it's not going to swipe very well and I probably need I'm probably I don't know if I want to swipe very much on the actual beach to be honest but I guess that's the theme at the moment is the swipes uh, let's start going with the other color this is one of my favorites this is a uh, chillin turquoise I love this color Let's go thicker. Let's not be shy, huh? Now, if you've seen my more recent videos, you know my swipes have been looking pretty good. So this one's making me really nervous. But 
I'm I'm curious and I don't have a lot of experience I've only been doing this since uh, 27th of December last year is when I started so I need to experiment for myself and uh, you guys get to see me experiment so hopefully you learn along with me now on one of my other videos because I have done a couple of beach my 30 day challenge I did uh, day 15 was my first beach which actually turned out quite nice then I tried to do one the next day and I hated it so <laughs> right I don't actually I'm not gonna I've got wipes white mix now this white mix is not El Dorado, El, El Dorado. this is Amsterdam titanium whites so that's staying the same but just fill it in these holes the other tool that I'm going to use today is a straw I'm just going to see if I can get some of these waves happening maybe a little bit more down here and I have a little bit of chilling li chill and lime I've used too much of this in the past in this kind of thing but I had a little bit left over and I thought I might just dot a tiny amount oh, I don't actually know what I've mixed this with um, but just a couple of little highlights I think would be kind of interesting there we go you see that's not very much at all that's actually sinking okay that's interesting was that a bad idea hmm all right well I think I think uh, we'll put some music on now and uh, we'll start swiping and we'll see how we go Well, the last time I went the opposite way. Oh, decisions. Uh, okay, let's go the opposite way.
All right, so that sunk a bit. And the reason I put that on was to uh, blow on it a bit. All right, I think we need a bit more paint on the side here. Ooh, that was a bad idea. really good all right so what I want to do now is get the straw I had that white in there but it didn't really work very well let's see if I can put a bit more on top and then give that a bit of a blow. is actually starting to take shape. Okay, I'm gonna go get cleaned up. Let's let this dry a bit. 
Okay, here is the dried result. Uh, I took some footage of it wet, but um, I had some strange setting on my camera and it uh, is very wonky and it'd make you motion sick, I think. So we'll leave that out and we'll just go straight to the dried result. The lacing turned out very well. So let me bring you in a bit closer. The lacing here, uh, this is probably held up the best, which has got the house paint that I use sometimes for the sand. Um, it always seems to work well. The, the rest of it is also pretty good. Um, the, I think the Amsterdam white sunk a bit more than I would have expected and I had a bit of trouble doing these waves and this here this white line that was actually the Elrado white because um, I wanted to see if I could stop it from sinking so all oh, this is the Amsterdam though and up through here it sunk so much that the dark blue has come over the top and given it a blue tinge which looks quite good actually through the um, the, uh, the uh, where the ocean meets the sand, we've got lots of bubbles, which is kind of cool. Hmm. And then down the bottom here is where I repaired my canvas, and I can't see it. So I did that with the glue all. Um, so I reckon if you do glue all two coats each side for a small, small, small blemish in your canvas, it'll probably be fine. But yeah, I like the overall look of this piece. Um, let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.